Mixing with Mike Bootcamp Tip, Vocal Width Effects. In this video, I want to show you just a couple of things that are very common in the way that people mix today. And mostly it's a way of sort of extracting the vocal or creating a unique present space for a vocal that makes it feel like it's right there, immediate and present. Part of what we went over in a previous tip was running a parallel chain where in the parallel chain, uh, we did some uh, tonal processing uh, fed into heavy compression. And this would allow us to add hype and presence to something, and then the compressor would really focus something in. That's part A of a formula. The next part is to really lift the vocal out of the speakers. And one way to do that is just by simply setting up um, a return, an effect return. So we have a pair of sends here. The sends are just, you know, at zero. I'm feeding both the hyped up track and the lead vocal track into it, and it's just coming here on a return. And I wanted to set this up in a way just to kind of show you how quick and easy you can set something up like this. And uh, we'll start with just like, a, let's just go with a Sound Toys Micro Shift. So let's just see here if we have the voice. Let's just have a quick listen here, see if we can dial in a quick effect here. You know I'll wait, I'm standing in place You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya But you can't deny me when you close your eyes Being alone, my time is on ya Seeing the sun fading away Hope you know this ride can only go so far Alright, so I'm going to dial in something that's pretty tight and immediate Just to create a, a, a presence And the simple part about this is just you know, using like a, a like an imager plugin. Now it has to be like an imager plugin that's not just a mid side processor where it pulls out the mid. It's usually called like a spectral processor. And what the spectral processor will do is it'll divide up frequency information and through phase and delay spread that information out so that you have uh, some width energy built into it. So uh, this is a free one from Isotope. I I love it. I use it a lot. Uh, it's very simple here. So what I'm going to do is going to take the same micro shift effect, and now I'm going to stereoize it. Okay, so here we go. You know I'll wait, I'm standing in place. You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya. But you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, my time is on ya. Seeing the sun fading away. Hope you know this ride can only go so far. So now what I have is something here that will you know, bring out some width and presence in the track, and I can blend yeah, this in uh, to taste. So let's just say I have this in the track. This allows me to do so many things with the vocal. If I really want the vocal to sort of be a bit more embedded so that the rest of the instrumentation comes out more, I can mix in this width effect to help lift the vocal out or put it in a space that always makes it audible and always makes it feel present, even though the music behind it is, is um, right there behind the vocal. You know I'll wait, I'm standing in place You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya But you can't deny me when you close your eyes Been alone, this time is on ya Seeing the sun fading away Hope you know this ride can only go so far The way you look in Now, you can put almost any kind of effect in there, but you can feel how it just really lifts or pulls the vocal off. So, for example, let's just say that I take, like, a, a vocal doubler or something like that. Here's another free one from Isotope. And so maybe instead of the micro shift, we have just a simple vocal doubler. I'll put it in effect-only mode, and let's just dial in an effect uh, with this. You know I'll wait, I'm standing in place You kick it with her, you know I'm for ya But you can't deny me when you close your eyes Been alone, my time is on ya Seeing the sun fading away Hope you know this ride can only go so far Right, so now you can hear just with that, I can create a completely different effect, which has a doubler and also has some width energy. This is also a very common thing that you hear, and often this is mixed up extremely loud, you know, mixed up in a very strong or heavy way as a way of really uh, um, kind of creating the super width effect on the vocal, almost to the point where you don't hear the vocal in the center, but if you switch the mix to mono, the vocal is in the middle and it doesn't disappear even though the doubling effect does disappear or mostly does. 
So you hear more of the variation in there, uh, and then there are, there are ways to uh, to enhance that. You can also do something in a more subtle way, like just say that I'll just call up like a, just a simple R verb plugin. Uh, you know, any small reverb. I'll just set it up here to be you know, let's say like a, a room or a nonlinear program. Usually works out well. Set the size to be really small. Uh, leave my reverb and just set my time to be really short here. So it's like make it like a hundred milliseconds or something like You're that. Away, standing in place, you kick it with her, you know I'm for ya, but you can deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, this time is on ya, seeing the sun fading away. Hope you know this right can only go so far. So now what I can do with this is create a more natural effect that and the width energy, so you put a room space in, you spread all that room energy out to the side. So what it feels like is kind of coming from the side of your head, which makes you feel like you're right in the space with the vocal. And it's a much more subtle effect, but it helps to blend in and kind of lift the vocal out of the mix and personalize it, right? Draw it out so you feel like the vocalist is singing directly to you. You're always standing in place, you kick it with her, you know I'm for ya, but you can't deny me when you close your eyes. Been alone, this time is on ya, seeing the sun fading away, hope you know this right can only go so far. The way you look I didn't notice till then, who you fooling, cause I don't There I have it in that chorus duck, tucked a little bit low, but you can hear how it does draw out the vocal. And, and even in that chorus section there, using you know something like the doubler or the micro shift probably would lift it out even more. If that's a little extreme, there's a little bit too much modulation in there. Right, and there you can kind of lift the vocal out. So depending upon the track, here's just like three quick ways that you can just pull something in and, you know, just glue something together very quickly. And if you just wanted to take even uh, something along the lines of, of what we did here before, with uh just just to sort of pull it together or glue it together even tighter you could do you're this trying, he loves me thinking that you could leave me losing all the lies that you tell just to tighten up the effect you're trying he loves me thinking that you could leave me losing all the lies that you tell In there, you can kind of really freeze the dynamic just to create the space so that you feel the dynamic of the vocal in the middle, but you get this presence on the side. It's really simple. You see how quickly you can get just three quick sounds basically using the same setup, and that doesn't even get into all the options of playing around, you know, with the different width types and, um, you know, and there are so many width processing plugins look for something that has some spectral spread on it that's basically what the the two modes here and the stereo wise feature is and not just the mid side processor you can sometimes get away with that but i think um you get something that's a bit more effective with things like this that will do it in kind of a multi-band kind of way or create some kind of a precedence effect right which creates you know short delays opposite to each other so you get this binaural feeling of width Right, and that's really the primary thing 
um, so you could lift the effect kind of out of the speaker and draw the listener into the space with the vocalist so that they really get the uh, message and the meaning of the song. All right, there's a, a quick tip. Um, just creating some simple vocal width effects that will help draw a vocal outside of the speakers into the space of the listener, and uh, hope you appreciate that. There'll be more vocal tips to come. Uh, this is all from the boot camp uh, at mixingwithmike.com. Bootcamp is a 52-week mixing program that studies the art of mixing through the study of production and how productions are put together and how the mix strategies are developed around the production. So it's really understanding how to analyze multi-tracks when you get them in, separate, isolating out the stems, getting all the individual tracks you know, put pulled together in places where they belong together, organizing, putting them in their best place to perform whatever role they serve in the production, and filling out a full production so it sounds alive and dynamic. And all the effects and all the things that I've talked about here and thousands more are all discussed in, uh, in this very, very long series. This is well over 200 hours worth of content for the 52 weeks, so that's a lot. And uh, loads of multi-tracks that go along with it, all the same ones that you see me use in the exercises and demonstrations. So check it out at uh, mixingwithmike.com. And uh, there you have it, a boot camp tip, vocal width effects.